This is a clip from a podcast episode I did with Martin Hella about how he shot a doe during gun season and found an arrow in the doe's head when he went to field dress it. It's an exciting story. Make sure you stay tuned. Let me know what you think in the comments and make sure to stay tuned afterwards for this week's small wins. Yeah, it's like, hey, it can happen. That's why it's, I feel like that's why we all hunt, right? Because you never know, mm-hmm. like, what can happen. Like, one thing I was going to show you, like, this uh, this is a doe I shot, which I know a lot of people don't have uh, European amounts of does. But I did because I shot this one, and there's literally an arrow in her skull. No way. So I thought I had to get it mounted. So, like, I don't know if you can see it. Kind of, yeah, you can see it. What? You can, so that's the broadhead and her nasal cavity. So I shot this with a, a gun during rifle season, I'm not. And I just had a doe tag and I didn't like, I didn't see it. Like, I didn't know it was there until I was like gutting it. My buddy was like, hey, what's that? And it was like, it was literally like, you could just see a little bit of like black sticking out of like her fur. Oh but you can God. actually see it's a, uh, it's a G5, you can't see it, but it's a G5 Monte. Wow. Right? So it's like, and you can like you can see that line. Yeah. It's just, that's the broad head. So it's like literally like right above her teeth, and just like right into her nasal cavity. Dang. That's like horrible that's, shooting, but that's awesome cool. that you got that. And I I ended up like uh, pulling trail camera pictures like at the end of the season, and I had like pictures of this doe, and there was like a little black spot, and like I didn't know what it was. And it was like for sure this doe. So now it's the only European amount of a doe I'll probably ever have, but unless I shoot a well, if I shoot a pie ball, it'll be a it'll be a whole, whole amount. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably something unusual, I would say. That's incredible. That's so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I know, I know taxidermists find all sorts of things. So I like dropped this off at the guy to do a euro on it. I was like, hey, I don't really know where the broadhead is. I would assume it's like you know, somewhere in there, I like I, I hope it stays in there for the mound. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But like, hey, just do what you can with it. When he gave it back, he said, hey, it worked fine. I just did it like normal, and it stayed in there. Wow. That's a cool story. Yeah, that's awesome. This week's Small Wins comes from Jeremy Affelt. He's a double amputee below the knee and has always wanted a bow hunt, but didn't know where to start. He did some research and watched a lot of videos online. And this year, he bought a bow. No one in his family bow hunts, and he taught himself. He goes on to say that he was humbled at how easy it looked on YouTube and went into the bow shop and told the pro staffer that he could pull back 50 pounds. He couldn't pull it back, and they had to lower it down to 35 pounds. Jeremy says that his small wins was working his way from 35 pounds all the way up to 60 pounds draw weight. And this year, he'll be going bow hunting for the first time. He goes on to add that he tells people that he can do anything else that they can, but he might have to tweak it or modify it differently, but at the end of the day, he still gets it done. One of the examples that comes to mind for him is shooting his bow. He said that he started off with a one pin sight and didn't move up to other pins until he mastered that one. As he got better with his shooting, he'd add another pin. He saw his groupings increase and they were getting tighter and tighter. Now he's ready for bow season. That's an epic small win story, Jeremy. I appreciate you sharing it with us. Good luck this deer season. If you have any small win stories that you'd like to share, email me at markofalltrades at gmail.com.